What's going on St. Louis? This is Brad in STL and welcome to the series finale of Scooping Through the Lou. So I had to end this one the right way with a crown on the top and I'm not talking about the bucket hat, I'm talking about crown candy. So let's get a malt, let's get a scoop and let's end this the right way. So when you come here to crown candy, it's all about the malt. I like to make a toast. Series finale. Oh my gosh, there's still like half the cup. Oh my god. I'm gonna be able to drive home from the sugar rush of this. Rich, thick, and creamy. It's just as fresh as I remember. They do make the ice cream in-house every day. So Crown Candy is a place that, if you grew up in St. Louis, you have memories. Like whether it's your parents or grandparents, this is like the place you came to celebrate. And it still gives you that same vibe. It, it still tastes as good as it did before. This is St. Louis' oldest soda fountain, so it's definitely a vibe. It's, it's, it's not like, it's not artificial. And there you have it, St. Louis. That's a wrap for Scooping Through the Lou. I've had a blast trying all these different scoops around town uh, from malts, sundaes, shakes, boozy shakes, you name it, I've tried it. This series wouldn't have been possible without Midwest Dairy, so thank you, Midwest Dairy and St. Louis. Stay tuned to find out where I'm going to end up next.